we have an interesting scenario here because my ball came to rest on this rake, which is a movable obstruction. I do get free relief from it, but there is a certain procedure we have to use to get that relief. So first of all, I have to mark the reference point, which is the estimated spot on the ground right under where my ball is currently at rest. So to mark that spot, I'm allowed to lift my ball and move the rake, and I'm gonna mark the spot. Now from this reference point, I get a one club length relief area that's no closer to the hole and is in the same area of the course where my reference point is. So there are five areas of the course. You've got the teeing area, penalty areas, bunkers, putting green, and the general area. So if the same situation happened, but in the bunker, my reference point underneath the ball would be in the bunker. So I'd have to drop my ball in the bunker. My reference point is in the general area, which means I have to drop the ball in the general area. One club length relief, which is the longest club in your bag that's not your putter. For most of us, that's our driver. I've got my driver right here. So I'm gonna measure out really quickly. One club length, that's no closer to the hole. From here, I'm gonna correctly drop my ball from knee height. It has to land in and come to rest in the general area. This ball is now in play. No penalty, play on.